Guys, welcome to Nabi Samuel. We are in the, according to tradition, in the area of Rama. But this is according to tradition. According to archaeology, we are in Gibeon. So this is the high place of Gibeon. And uh, it's mentioned many times in the Bible. Especially in the Old Testament. Especially in the time of Prophet Samuel. This is the place where Samuel actually gathers the sons of Israel. You know, here up in Mitzpe, which is very close to Gibeon. And we, when we go up to the mosque on the roof, we will see actually biblical Gibeon where it is. And this is the Mitzpe, which is the high place. So he gathered them to elect the new king. Last time we were here, this archaeological park was not open for public, but now we're going to see it. That's a very nice thing. This looks like Owen or whatever it is. Yeah, it was written there, Hellenistic street. But what is Hellenistic? What it means? The Hellenistic period, that means it's uh, the time of the Greek. This is when actually Alexander the Great in 312 BC conquered the country. And from that period, it's called the Hellenistic period until the time of 165 when the Hasmoneans reoccupied the country from the Greeks. And, you know, but the ruins that are here also dating back from the first temple period and also the second temple period. So we have ruins dating back almost 700 BC and about even 900 BC. This place has a lot of history. Yeah, and especially we can talk the, about layers of history, right? Layers yeah. and layers of history. This is a typical Hellenistic house. immediately cooler actually I want to stay here it's so cool here it is very cool imagine back in the days they knew how to build not like today you know they have broader walls which kept you know in summertime the house cooler and in winter time it kept all the hobs warmer but guys wait when you see the view the view from from up there that's gonna be amazing view so what is here Ooh. what is here that's a two level house probably can see the arches and here we have the step going on the upper level maybe they kept the animals down this place is full of surprises because this is more newly opened archaeological site so we don't know a lot about it but we know that this is some of the houses are dating from the Hellenistic period and also from the first temple period until the second temple period and here you can see the arches from the crusader period so probably this is Fadi, how you, how you know it's from crusader period? because the pointed arch uh -huh. you see, usually in the crusader period they have these pointed arches 
and of course they built a big fortress here on top of the place and a monastery because we are on a very strategic road which comes all the way from the city of Jaffa. The first they came to Jaffa, they went through the Horon Valley and the first place to see the city Jerusalem, the kingdom of heaven according to the, to the crusaders, it is from here. They were so happy to see Jerusalem, they called it the Mount of Joy. If you look right over there, that's Jerusalem. These are the hills of Jerusalem. How many hills? That is the Mount of Olives, Mount Scopus. These are the eastern mountains of Jerusalem. But how many hills Jerusalem is built? Four hills. Mount Moriah, Mount Bezetta, Mount Zion and Mount Orphal. So this is a big kiln for making pottery, probably from the Islamic period. And as we were talking, that this place commemorating the burial of Samuel. But according to archaeology, we did not find Rama yet. Because in the Old Testament, as the Bible mentioned, that Samuel was buried in Rama, which is still now unknown for archaeologists. But we know where is Gibeon. Gibeon is just across the way. When we go up, we will point it out. It's a pity many people who come to visit Jerusalem, they don't even know about this place. And check this view. Amazing views from here. So we are at the entrance of the mosque, as you see, we are sitting, and you know, as we see it from the beginning, that this place has a long history. So at first, this is where the tabernacle used to be, in the time of David and Solomon, and in the Byzantine period, a monastery was built on this platform where we are sitting right now, where the mosque is existing right now, and the relics of Samuel was brought from Brahma and was placed in that Byzantine monastery. And later on in the early Islamic period, this was known as Der Samuel, which means the monastery of Samuel. Until the Crusader period, another church was built, and then in the Mamluk period in the 14th century, in this mosque that's existing, it's, it was built. And in 1967, in the Six Days War, when Israel took over the West Bank, you know, part of the mosque was turned into a synagogue. So this is actually, the mosque is two parts, like in Hebron. So you have a synagogue inside the mosque, but this is also still an active mosque. As we saw the call of the prayer, there's the mosque open inside where people are praying. And also the synagogue is active, which is on the other side of the mosque. Wait, somebody is coming down. <laughs> it's better not to try to go up when somebody is coming down. So, let's carefully watch our steps while we are climbing up. But it's gonna be worth it. this 
guys are having picnic down there. So imagine the Crusaders coming here and seeing Jerusalem for the first time. Yeah. Coming, marching all the way from Europe to free the land, you know, from the Muslims at that time. And this is the first place where they see Jerusalem from the Mount of Joy, as they called it. This is the Biblical Gibeon, right over there. And there's the shrine. And on the other side, just right next door, there's no separation. There is nothing, you have the synagogue. So this is the synagogue part, or the Bet Knesset. And down there is the tomb of Prophet Samuel. So this is the tomb of Prophet Samuel. Just right here. You can see people can be together, there's no problem. So imagine how many events took place here, right in this place. The tabernacle was here at the time of David and Solomon. This is where Solomon came to ask wisdom from God. So Solomon was even on this place and he was given wisdom and wealth right in this place. This is where the first king of the Israelite was elected in Mitzpeh, right here, which is King Saul, who is from Gibeon. He was elected here in the high place of Gibeon. So, as we mentioned before, many and many events, biblical events, took place right in this high place of worship. Thank you for watching this video. We seriously hope it gave you something good. Thank you very much for watching. And again, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> and stay tuned for the next video hope you liked it we liked it bye bye, bye. bye everybody